Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. It's very rare in this country that the 10 day forecast is as straightforward as this. High pressure, not much rain, some sunny spells and around average temperatures for the time of year. And given that I've just summed up the next 10 days in just a few short sentences, if you are busy and you'd like some time back, well, feel free to stop watching now. I won't be offended. But I must warn you that you would be missing out on some fascinating regional variation, talk of an Amiga block, and towards the end, a stacked probability bar plot. More on that in a moment, but uh, let's take a look at the bigger picture. Next five days, high pressure there to the north and northwest of the UK, and that's where it will continue to sit. So, through the whole of the rest of the week, the whole of the long weekend for many of us, that high pressure will keep things fine, settled and pleasant enough. However, there will be some important differences day to day and from place to place. But that high pressure really not going far because of the position of the jet stream at the moment. Look how amplified it is. It's really up and down across uh, northern parts of Europe and the Atlantic. And it's actually shaped, you can just make it out, like the Greek letter omega like this. A dip there to the west, then it rises over the UK and then another dip to the east. Within these dips, low pressure. That's where all the unsettled weather is staying, whilst high pressure is in the middle. This is called an Amiga block and it's a block because it blocks unsettled weather and it blocks progression. It blocks things from moving and so that high pressure really here to stay for the next five days at least and beyond that certainly. There will be some warmth around at times, especially to the northwest, and you can see actually at the time of recording, Wednesday afternoon is a warm one for Western Scotland and Northern Ireland in particular. However, that's likely to be the peak of the warmth for some time because this cold front is moving in and it's going to sweep across the country on Wednesday night into the start of Thursday. And that leads us into the weekend with a cooler airflow coming in from the uh, east and northeast across many parts of the country, but it will always be coolest in the east and the south, warmest towards the northwest, but not quite as warm, I don't think, for Western Scotland and Northern Ireland as Wednesday is. That high pressure though, where we get some sunshine, feeling pleasant enough. There will be some sunshine in western parts of the UK on Thursday morning, some mist and fog patches perhaps lasting till mid-morning in places. An area of cloud then drips into Wales and southwest England, breaking up by the afternoon. And by the afternoon, actually most places are looking brighter with some sunny spells, but there will be cloudier skies in the east, a more of a cool easterly breeze coming in from the North Sea. So high teens in the east. Still the potential for low to mid 20s further west but not quite as warm for western Scotland and Northern Ireland as Wednesday. Then fast forward to Friday and those temperatures dip a little bit more so we're back to high teens, low 20s generally across the UK but again for the vast majority it's dry, sunny spells and feeling pleasant in any sunshine of course. A subtle change Friday night and into Saturday as we head into the weekend because of the shape of the jet stream, that Amiga block I mentioned, and the dip to the east of us, all this unsettled weather across Central and Eastern Europe, that just edges a little bit closer for southeastern parts of the UK by Saturday. And so the potential for East Anglia, Southeast England, perhaps into the Midlands of a few light to moderate showers on Saturday as we get the tail end of this unsettled weather but no more than a few millimetres and there'll be some sunshine in between and elsewhere to the north and the west it stays sunny this weekend into Saturday and temperatures feeling pleasant enough in any sunny spells but uh, certainly nothing spectacular They're around average for the time of year. By Sunday that unsettled weather moves away so for the vast majority it's again dry and bright with sunny spells the best of which will be to the northwest and west. Bank holiday Monday, you can see very little change. High pressure, temperatures around average, sunny spells and feeling pleasant enough where we get that sunshine. It won't be sunny everywhere this weekend. There will be some areas of cloud drifting in from the east at times. It's not a bank holiday everywhere, of course, as well. Uh, not for Scotland, at least. Mostly dry, though, through the long weekend. Warm in any sunshine, cool in the breeze, especially in the east. So that sums it up for the long weekend. And beyond that, well, this is how it looks as we start next week. High pressure to the northwest and really 
there's everything to suggest that it will just sit there throughout next week. Now this sums it up nicely. This is the stacked probability bar plot I was talking about. And what these represent is uh, a summary of the different weather patterns that affect the UK. All of those different weather patterns that we get from day to day are summed up into eight regimes. The blue colours here represent low pressure type of regimes and the red colours represent high pressure. The dark red here represents the type of weather pattern where we get high pressure to the north or northwest of the UK, the type of weather I've just mentioned. And this is a summary from the European model. It's run 52 times and for each of these days going out to two weeks, the weather patterns for each of those runs is stacked here. So this represents the percentage of different weather patterns that we can expect or the probability of these different weather patterns from day to day. And you can see that high pressure to the north of the UK, that dark red regime, well there's a 100% chance of that happening right out until the beginning of next week and even beyond that it's the main uh, regime in charge. And really it's not until you get to the 7th or 8th of September that it becomes more likely that we'll see these blues appearing, these low pressure patterns start to reappear. So for the next 10 days, it couldn't get clearer than that. High pressure and more specifically, high pressure to the north or northwest of the UK. And in the interest of balance, this is the American model, all the different computer simulations summed up and that high pressure to the north of the UK in charge for the foreseeable future. And that brings us back full circle. So you may be regretting having not dipped out when you had the chance because really we're back to the headline at the beginning. High pressure in charge throughout next week, not much rain and temperatures around average by day and by night as well. There will of course be important day-to-day -day differences and uh, some regional variations to be aware of and you can follow us on social media for all the very latest on that. But for now, that's it from me. Bye-bye.